Hello dear friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I will be discussing this i, which is nothing but 3x, y, where x and y are integers is a maximal ideal inside that person. Again, I will assume that my student is able to prove it as an ideal. What I will be focusing is, I will be focusing whether it is a maximal ideal or not. Or beneficially, I will be talking about, yes, it is a maximal ideal, I will prove it. Because it is show that type of equation. The first thing, I start with is nothing but the observation about my i. I can see the i is defined in a such a way that it is nothing but 3x comma y where x and y are integers. But what I observe, my first coordinate is always an integer multiple of 3 and the second coordinate comes from integers. So I can write my this i is actually nothing but 3z cross z. I need to show that is a maximal ideal in z cross z. So over here, I will try to go with the definition of it. The first thing that I observe, it is not equal to z cross z. Because the first property of a maximal ideal is, it is a proper ideal. Therefore, i is a proper ideal. of z cross z. So first condition is satisfied. The second condition is if suppose if there exists some ideal j, j is an ideal of z cross z such that that i is contained inside j and this j is contained inside z cross z, then I need to show that my this j is either equal to i or this j is either equal to z cross z, right? Hence, it becomes a maximal ideal. If there exists j, then j either must be equal to i or it is same as z cross z. Okay. So, I start with this j. Suppose there exists. Suppose there exists some j. Ideal of z cross z. Since it is an ideal of z cross z, this j must be of the form. Let me just write it as uh, n z cross m z. Right? It will be of this form. Therefore, my this 3 z cross z is a subset of n z cross m z and which is a subset of z cross z. Right? I am just using this i is a subset of j, j is a subset of z cross z. I am just using it. Okay. Now, from this, what I can observe, if this relation is true, that means my 3z is a subset of nz and my z is a subset of mz, right? So, my 3z is a subset of nz and my z is a subset of mz. If my 3z is a subset of mz, from this I can conclude that my n divides this 3. And from this I can conclude that my m divides 1. Always remember, what is the relation? This, this number, the over number over here should divide this number. So similarly, m over here should divide the number over here, the representative that is 1. So, therefore, the possible choice for n is nothing but it could be 1 or it could be 3. And over here, the possible choice for m is only 1 because we consider the positive representative. Negative answers are also there, but we consider the positive representative. Okay. So, so there are two cases that I can observe. The case 1 is nothing but considering n equal to 1 and m has only one choice. So, 1. In that case, j is same as z cross z because in the place of both i write so this condition is true in that case right so we are done case 2 if my n is 3 and m is 1 then my j is same as 3z cross z and which is same as actually i so what i found is if there exists any such ideal either it is equal to i or it is equal to z cross z therefore there does not exist any super ideal of i which is proper ideal of it such that 
I can conclude now. My I is a maximal ideal. of z cross right it was an easy one i think something similar like this occurs then you should be able to prove apart from it i'll just tell you the maximal ideal look like this pz cross z or you can say it is nothing but z cross pz are the types of are the form of maximal ideal of z cross z so if anything like this looks, you can prove it is a maximal ideal. Otherwise, it is not going to be a maximal ideal because you can always find out an ideal which is bigger than it and a proper of the Z cross Z. Okay. I hope you understood the explanation. If you have any doubt, difficulty, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching till then. Bye-bye.